Today, we're going to be upgrading the spindle motor on my 3018 Pro CNC. This will hopefully allow me to cut and engrave materials such as wood and metal faster and more efficiently. We're going to be replacing this tiny 775 motor with a more powerful 500 watt spindle. Let's get right into it. I got this 500 watt spindle motor kit from Banggood for $60. In the box is a variable speed motor controller. We will use this to power the motor because the onboard controller on the CNC is not powerful enough to drive this large motor. The actual spindle motor is packaged very well and surrounded by styrofoam. It comes with this aluminum mounting bracket, but we won't be using it because we need to 3D print a custom mount to fit the CNC. Let's print it right now. After printing, I have to drill out the holes to the correct size to fit M4 bolts and nuts. These bolts and nuts will hold the motor firmly in the bracket so it doesn't move. Before we can install the new motor and bracket, we have to take the old one out first. This was a little easier said than done as I had to disassemble the entire Z-axis. We're actually going to use the same mounting hardware that was used in the old bracket. We're going to take the linear bearings out of the old bracket and hammer them into the new one. With this complete, we can reassemble the Z-axis. In true professional fashion, we zip tie the motor controller to the frame of the CNC. All that's left is the wiring for the new spindle motor. After wrapping up all the wires and hooking up the motor controller, we can perform the first test. Let's try carving a wooden YouTube play button for my first 25 subscribers. This is how fast it carved with the previous motor. This is how fast it carves now. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. It really does help me out. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.